What's up you guys? Welcome back to the garage. Today we have quite a few things that we are going to be doing. Um, we are going to be going to the store, so you guys will probably follow me to the store. Another thing is that, um, oh yeah, did I mention I got glasses? So my eyes were really straining lately and like I felt like tired and I got these glasses and I'm supposed to be wearing them but obviously you guys haven't seen me with them and today I decided to start wearing them and they feel a lot better my eyes were like really red and yeah so for the next few days I'm gonna see how this makes a, up of a difference but right now my eyes feel pretty good but either way let's head out over here and show you guys some stuff that I got so right here we got some fuel line and the reason that we got that fuel line is because I took off the FMU and if you guys could remember I had to cut the line right in the middle right here to splice it onto the FMU so I just went ahead and picked up a long piece for the return that way I can just go ahead and swap that out I didn't want to spoil the surprise but there is a surprise on the way that's the reason why the FMU is off power we gonna make some 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 power if you watch me make a fool of myself hashtag barbers live down below also I got an extension cord because I have another light bar over there and I'm planning on moving these lights around like right now the light is shining straight down and I am thinking that I'm gonna place these lights like like on a corner or something just like like tilted so the light shines on an angle towards the car maybe throw another one up here and put it like at an angle so the light goes down like that that way we get all this lighting on the side because right now we're getting all this lighting on the top and yeah it helps out when you're working like at an engine bay or whatever but when you get up on the sides you can't really see or like when it's dark in here when when there's no light outside you can't really see on the sides so we're definitely going to be moving the lighting around um like i said at the beginning of the video we got to get to the store we got to try to find and locate some couplings i need some 90 degree elbows for the intercooler we're also going to be um, drilling the hole on the inner cooler and modifying it for a back door and if I have time I'll go drop it off so it could get welded another thing have you guys checked out super clean before let me know down below in the comments if you guys have tried that before um, yeah so let's just go ahead and get this video started I forgot to mention that that coolant hose that's back there that was leaking um, I was gonna replace it, but I've been thinking about it. And I think I'm just gonna throw an extra hose clamp on there for now and just try to see if I can stop that flow that's coming out. Cause it looks like it's coming out of the end of the hose. So I'm gonna pull off the old uh, hose clamp and throw a brand new one on there. We got somebody here. Who is this? What's up? Hey, I'm you know this wrench is gonna get all rusted. Oh, why'd you throw it in there? I didn't throw it in. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were draining your oil. That's what it was. <laughs> the old man just distracted me. I just lost 45 minutes here talking about his Harley. Let's just go to the store. So I haven't been to this location in a while. And right now, all they do is just service. They got rid of all their floor stuff. Um, and also, my glasses keep fogging up with this mask kind of sucks the guy in there was pretty helpful though he gave me the address to the new location where they have all the stuff supposedly and he said I might be able to find what I'm looking for so fingers crossed I get there and they got those 90 degree elbows so I just went to the place and they obviously didn't have it and I decided to stop at AutoZone and double check with them and they didn't have it either and I decided to call um, the shop that's on the other side of Mexico beyond the tracks where I live and the shop right there they said that they could have it for me but it would be about two days so I'm just gonna call my boy down the street and see if if he can get it at his place 
I went ahead and I sent Sheldon a text message and he's on a mission right now trying to locate these parts for me. Let's head back to the house and chop up that intercooler. So I went ahead and I put the intercooler back up. I got the long bolts that I located yesterday. Um, right now the bolts are on here pretty good holding this down but they are not stationed up here and by that i mean if if i grab the intercooler and push up on it you guys can see that it, it moves right that's the whole point of this nut that's down here once this nut goes all the way up i'll go ahead and tighten it and it will no longer move up and down once that is nice and tight and for the bottom, I have these little brackets that I made a while back. All I got to do is just put the bolt on each side. What we are going to be doing now, I went ahead and I tied these down by hand. So it's nice and steady on there. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, I took off the coupling that was here, which is one of these that was on there. This is two and a half, which is the piping that was on here. Um, that coupling was a reducer from three to two and a half. So what we are going to do is we are actually going to use the piping itself. That's two and a half because the inlet on the turbo is two and a half. It is exactly the same piping. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to put this right here, but on the other side, on the opposite side, and we are going to go ahead and drill a hole right here so this pipe could actually fit inside and then we are gonna have this welded um, and of course it's gonna be on that side because it's gonna come out and swirl to the turbo so let's just go ahead um, get that marked we'll get that hole drilled and then that piece that's gonna come out that two and a half um, I'm gonna see if I can use it to block off this side otherwise I'm just gonna have to get like some kind of a sheet sheet metal or something to close this side off over here well not sheet metal because it's aluminum we're gonna have to get another piece of aluminum that we could make sure we could seal this correctly so here's the intercooler um this is the side that needs to be drilled out but on the opposite side so we're gonna go ahead and just lay this guy down right here and we want this piping to come out somewhere like right here like around right there so I'm gonna go ahead and mark the center of that and we'll start drilling with this make sure you guys are hitting that like button this is gold right here that's the center right there so I'm gonna go ahead Put this guy back together, throw it on the drill, and get that hole drilled out really quick. So please smash that like button because that really helps the flow of traffic to the channel. The more flow I get, the more people that get to watch, the more videos I get to make. And I've been trying to make as many videos as I can lately for you guys. A lot of content, I really enjoy making videos. All right, so I got my little mark right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and drill her out. You know what? I almost screwed up. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these paper towels and stuff them in there. That way all these little shavings don't go all crazy everywhere once I drill through.
I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up right here and I pulled out all this paper towels and you can still see a little bit of shavings I'm gonna go ahead and shake it really good try to get all that out and yeah now I think we could go ahead cut our pipe exactly where we want it place it right on top how we want it and have my guy weld it so let me go ahead and, and cut this one like around here somewhere a few inches so how do i know how much do i need i'm gonna go off of this so you guys see how much space there is right here that's how much space i'm gonna cut same thing for this side whatever the space is i'm just gonna put it over here so i'm gonna mark it use the grinder cut it really quick and i'll show you guys so check it out that's what i ended up with that's gonna sit right there just like that and that's gonna be my back door into the inner cooler it's gonna get welded and now we gotta get this side welded shut so i was thinking of using the piece that came out of here to get that to be welded but i forgot that this is three inch not two and a half so i'm trying to locate a piece of aluminum for there and i remember that i have this old intake so this intake manifold so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna cut a circle right here out of this aluminum and see if i could use that to that size so i'm gonna switch blades and cut a circle out of here So what you guys just witnessed was me recycling some metal. And the reason why a lot of people like my channel, because I make stuff work with what I got. So as you guys can see, this piece, it's got a little bit of a bend to it, but I'm pretty sure we could use it for here. I went ahead and I shaped it a little bit with the grinder. And look at this. It fits in there perfect. Oh, now it's, it's making me look bad. But you guys see that? Now, all he has to do is just seal it shut and seal the center. And weld this guy right here. Just like that and we got ourselves a new setup. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little break, get some food, maybe drop that guy off, uh, charge the batteries to the GoPro, and we will go from there. I feel like I didn't accomplish, uh, I feel like I did not accomplish much in this video, but I'm not gonna stop recording, I'm gonna continue recording, and I'm gonna go inside right now. Change of plans, I gotta take my father-in-law to do some stuff around town. And then after that, I think I'm going to go ahead and drop off the inner cooler at the place so it could get welded all around. So I took the old man to do whatever he needed to do. And I called the guy that welds for me. And I have bad news. He's out of, uh, he's out of the state right now. He's out in Florida. So he said he's not going to be back until April. So I'm going to have to either find somebody else or I'm going to have to purchase a welder one of the two we'll see what shenanigans i come up with so this video is kind of long i'm gonna go ahead and just cut this video off right here and i will catch you guys on my next video make sure you guys subscribe if you have not hit that like button and yeah i'll catch you guys on my next one peace out stay safe catch you guys later
Far boss life, yo.